Mr. President, Excellencies, distinguished guests, I would like to warmly thank the organizers of the Kofi Annan Road Safety Ceremony, the Government of Ghana, the Economic Commission for Africa, the United Nations Secretary General Special Envoy for Road Safety, Jean Tot. I also recognize the presence of the chairman of the Kofi Annan Foundation, Mr. Asik. I just wish I was with you in person, but I'm pleased that Kofi Annan is there with you representing the family. I'm also happy to tell you that I was celebrating the 65th anniversary of the Ghana's independence over the weekend right here in Stockholm, together with the Winner Back Choir. It's an honor and a privilege to give the welcoming words for this maiden ceremony of the Kofi Annan Road Safety Award for Africa in memory of my late husband. We hope that this initiative inspires action to face a challenge which can be prevented and resolved. Such action would contribute significantly to achieve many of the targets of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Since the early 2000s, Kofi Annan was committed to increase awareness of the magnitude of the road safety crisis at the highest level, calling for international action. Under his leadership, the United Nations garnered political will across the world. This is reflected by the adoption of a resolution to improve road safety, as well as regular presentations in his reports to the General Assembly as Secretary General on the global road safety situation. It was also during his tenure that the UN Road Safety Collaboration was established. Sadly, sufficient progress has not yet been made. 1.3 million people contribute, continue to die every year on the roads. It's the leading cause of death for young people between five and 29 years of age. 90% of these accidents occur in our most vulnerable communities, with half of the deaths and injuries occurring in urban areas. It's important not to forget the tragedy of the countless numbers of injured, perhaps maimed for life. There's still much to be done, particularly in Africa, which has the highest regional road traffic fatality rate in the world. A child in Africa is twice as likely to die on the road than a child in any other part of the world. This needs to be changed. I'm very pleased about the leadership role that Ghana, near and dear to our hearts, is taking in hosting this maiden award ceremony in the presence of Your Excellency, Mr. President, highlighting the need to bring down the number of road traffic accidents. The Kofi Annan Road Safety Award is to motivate key stakeholders, such as governments, private sector and civil society organizations, to develop and implement innovative and outstanding initiatives to save lives on the road. The award symbolizes hope. With the political will, lives can be saved and lives can be lived safely without debilitating injury. As my husband said, with the right action, traffic injuries can be prevented for us to be able to look to the future with hope. Let me quote him. Road safety happens through deliberate efforts. Every one of us has a role to play. Ministers of transport, health and education, healthcare providers, automobile association, educators, students, insurers, vehicle manufacturers, the media and victims of road traffic crashes and their families. But a strong commitment at the political level is crucial. I congratulate the winners of this year and look forward to inspiring progress in the coming year. Thank you for your friendship and commitment. Thank you.